Hi guys, it's me Karen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to do part two of this page over here that we're working on. Small Victories, the coloring book of Little Winds, Miniature Masterpieces by Joanna Basford. I do have my other pencils out. I want to make sure this folds down. I'm going to do the little butterfly up here. Move some of these things out of the way. These are the colors that I used yesterday. I might get out some other uh, colors for the butterfly because I don't know if I want a green butterfly. <laughs> but we'll get out um, some of the... Uh, oh, that's kind of pretty. Uh, watercolor pencils. What are you? I want to pull out something that's... Um, here, I'll just plop this here. Something in the reddish tones. It's just a brown, sanguine. I don't know if we want. This is a pink. This is a violet pink. What do we got in front here? Nothing. Okay. Like I said, this has been sitting up in my bookshelf forever. And I haven't pulled them out, so this is pretty. Aubergine, red purple, and whatever this one is, that's pretty. Cornelian or something. Okay, maybe a yellowish color. This one's yellow, the other one's green. Okay, or that one. I don't know, we'll figure it out. That works for me. Do the butterfly in kind of these colors. I don't think I like the yellow that much. So we'll put the yellow back and we're going to use the ivoryish color that was in here. Sue, so how close do I need to get you down for this? Hold on. Okay. Start off with the uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, crimson aubergine color. And we got the little bit of pink here, so we're going to. Darken that just a bit here on both sides. Okay. Then maybe add a little of this down in here. Oh, and we got some flowers here, so we'll put some in that. Okay, then we'll take the purplish, <sighs> a little bit of hair for my cat, purplish red. Took our little kitty in today to get some vaccinations. She does not like driving in the car. <laughs> Man. Stressful enough when you're driving the car in, you know, heavy traffic and stuff, but geez, when you're doing it with a cat howling at you in the back seat, it's just ugh. My daughter came with me, so she was sitting there in the back seat. This is the, um, what is it? Yeah, you tried to pronounce that one. Corn eel, corn elian, I don't know. It's just, it's an orange color that was pretty. <laughs> so yeah, she howled the whole way. It was about, it's about a half hour drive. And then once we get into the office, of course, she just quiets right up, gets her shut, didn't hear her make a sound until we get her back and put her back in the car. <laughs> She's just, 
<laughs> mew, 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 all the way home. Primrose. This is the other color we have. And we're just going to go in and put it in there. See what happens there. And then we're just going to add water in. So that's how my morning went. And these little flowers here. Okay, we're gonna let that dry. We're gonna grab a brown I know there was a brown in here because I saw it. That's a plum. Ooh, what are you? Green ochre. Olive brown. Burnt ochre. Brown. <laughs> <laughs> and oh chestnut that sounds fun while we're here and putting out the colors let's do this little guys that I'm gonna make brown so let's go over to this little one this is brown ochre Chestnut. And um, this one is just called brown. And then we'll throw in some of the primrose. onto that side and we will get the water to activate that.
Okay. Get one of these to dry. <laughs> Make a little squirrel here we can do in the same colors too. This is the brown. bit of the chestnut. And a bit of the primrose. There we go. Butterfly should be dry by now. Yep. Okay. Move those pencils. And we'll go into the Derwent Light Fast ones. Oh, that one might be pretty in there. And do we have the pink that we put in to begin with? Yeah, we'll just see what this does. So I pulled out some two purples. Well, the one we went first, an orange and a deep um, blue violet. So let's see how that blue violet works in here. I'm going to sharpen that up a bit. Let's do the same thing on this side. We're just going to go in that little space I left. I'm going to turn the book a little bit here lift it up so I can get up here at the top.
Oops. Kind of figured I'd do that. <sighs> yeah, got a spot there now. <sighs> Was pretty pressing pretty hard on that. So let's see if that'll erase. And if it doesn't, we will be adding... Uh, some color there. <clears throat> because it's a real heavy duty color layout on those. I'm going to do a little bit of the body here. Okay, I'm going to do the dark orange. And do the wild lavender. And we will get the green, the green we used over here. This one looks nice and bright, and this one is called the foliage. Let's see which color it is. Okay, that's a pretty color. We're just going to add this in here. There we go. And we're going to add some of that into our leaves over here. Should be a leaf right there too if it's going to go that way. We had lots of colors in that um, leaves down here, so we're just going to add in a couple of colors. And we're going to put in a little bit of uh, dark olive in the uh, aquarel watercolor pencil here and we're going to use it to blend with. So we're just going to take the water brush
let that finish drying. I should just do that with all the um, leaves here. those leaves done. There we go. <clears throat> and we will get the um, little bit up here. I've got to find some colors to color him in with. What do we got here? That might work. Need something a little browner. Do do. Brown, 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 brown. Regular old brown. It's red. <laughs> Autumn brown. Okay. I'll do autumn brown first. I keep moving them out of the way. And you can't see what I'm doing. So let's see. Autumn brown. In the light fast. Bring in raisin. I'm not quite sure what color this is. It's a little redder in it.
do what was the last one I pulled out. Well, it's called chestnut. Then we're gonna get out a um, cream color. Let's see what we have in here. Do we have one that's creamy? I got gray, it's white. What are you? Brown ochre, maybe. Flesh pink is not what I want. Dusty pink. We have oyster, but that's kind of white. I was hoping to get something like a primrose. I'll try the oyster here. Okay, we're gonna get a um, pen out here and give this guy a little eye. It's kind of silly without his eye here. And the little nose. So little chestnuts type things can be uh, chestnut colored. I'm going to bring in the primrose here from my aquarelle colors. I'm just going to color that in there. Like that. and add in some uh, darker green into those leaves. So I'm gonna bring in the olive brown, 50% brown olive. some water into that.
Okay, we're going to add a little bit of black. Make sure that's dry. Like we did with the frog. We're going to go in here. Hold on a second. Move that camera a little bit. Okay, and because I made that little boo-boo out here, we're going to just make a big black dot. A little black dot. And add some of these around here. Give him some eyes. And since we did it there, we might as well add some black dots down here. You can go over to the little dude here.
And we've got a black star up here. And we're going to take our little pit pen. I hope I showed all that. <laughs> Sorry if I didn't. I just put some white in to brighten up some areas. And then I'm going to go over it with a pencil. One of these pencils. This one's the brown ochre. And just lighten it up a little bit. Or darken it up a little bit so you don't think it's just plain white. here. A little seaweed. Here we go. I didn't quite finish the squirrel, but hands done, so <laughs> we'll get to that one later. I'll take a picture at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section down below, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Take care, everyone. Bye now.